What do you no, do? This isn't fair. Well, that, that big one's for me, I hope, isn't it? Well, big is as big does, if you know what I mean. Oh. Um, I, I know exactly what you mean. Are you going to show my co- making of a cosmopolitan? Yeah, because uh, that way, when I put it on YouTube, everybody will know exactly how to make one. Really? Well, that's pretty cool. I hope I don't screw it up. Yeah, we do it just right. The thing about a cosmopolitan is getting the balance of the ingredients. Balance? Well, if you have them too sweet, they're... Did you say too sweet? Isn't that French? You have to get the balances. Yeah. You have to have, forget what the recipes say. Well, you're, what are you doing? The dishes or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me get my supply table set up. How come that one is so damn small? Well, that's because I was a little too... Uh, Yeah, he was a little... Kinetic with my hands and my cheeks. Um, we have a problem with the size of the glass. But that's oh, you broke the only other martini glass you had, that's I guess. That's what I thought I just said. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. So we have the uh, products. Products. He likes lemon oh, this juice. This one's broken. This one's broken. Oh, for crying out. I'm serious. We have a breakage in the... Okay, well, we'll make do. Well, he's making, I thought you were making uh, Cosmos, not making do. But. Okay. Okay, uh, so you've got, oh, you know what, that's the same Cosmo mix I use, that stuff in the, uh, in that jar there, Johnny. Yeah? That's the same stuff I, I picked that up over at uh, Bottles and Cases. We're making these bachelor style, you know what that is? I have a feeling. Well, that means you don't wait for the water to get hot when you wash dishes. You just give it a little rinse and you call it good. Uh, sounds good. Because they've all been there before anyway. You know. But uh, that's the same brand of Cosmo mix I use. I don't use the... Uh, um, like kettle one vodka. Does the, does the type of vodka make a difference to you? Psychologically at the very least, um, I would say. So he's now putting in some real lemon. Just enough for one or two. It's just enough for a couple of couple Okay, of so he schlozzled some of that and that's some Grand Marnier. Oop, he's going for it twice there. A couple of swigs of that. This is genuine unsweetened cranberry juice. This is the, the, probably the, the, the most important trick, if there's a trick in this magic. This is his secret weapon. Unsweetened cranberry it's juice. very intense. Deep, deep magenta in hue. It's quite deeply magenta in hue. And uh, I'm going to top that up with the traditional cosmos. So a half a shot of that and a half a shot of that. Sh- I like so. Oh, he's making two or whatever. So, oh, look at him. He's not exactly precise. Yeah, and as we're going to see... Now he's going to put in some vodkas. Do equal parts. Uh, exactly. One. Two. Oh, three. Because he's making two of these. It's a shot and a half each, I guess. And then, uh, is it important to slap your fingers and hands together like that? You... No. I don't think it's important. I do an initial shakeage. And then I set it down. He, lets, he sets it down after the initial shakeage. This is another important uh, secret to the, to the master's plan here. He's looking around for glasses that don't exist. We don't understand what happened to all the stemware. Well, I'm, I'm very embarrassed. He's embarrassed for all of you 
fans of Cosmos out there. Now, when I was in my early days of making these, I did it one-handed, and uh, I was wearing the martini. Yeah. Uh, I've done that. So I highly recommend you use both hands. Yeah, even if you consider even when I pour it into the glass, I do what you're doing right now. I hold the top down because I've had the whole thing exactly. fall in before. Exactly. Well, that's a lovely color. It is, and I wanted you to notice that. That's uh, here. Let me get voila. it. Voila! Voila! And there's enough just for him to have a little sip in a in an inappropriate glass. Well, let me let me reach in. Why don't you take a taste and let me see what you think of that there. Well, there you have it, folks. The uh, the perfect cosmopolitan. Thank you for coming. According to John, to John. Happy Fourth of July. Fourth of July. And we're signing off.